Hi everybody, so I'm gonna be fixing my hair. So it <laughs> has been a struggle for me. Um, so as you guys know, I bleached my hair back in January. Um, I think I like bleached it once or twice. Um, and then I let it grow out a little bit and then I decided to do a shadow root so it could grow in more and then I toned the rest of my hair. Um, and I left it like that for quite a while until just barely recently, like two weeks ago, I um, was trying to dye my hair, like all my hair, a golden blonde color. And I posted that video as you guys saw, and it did not work on my new growth. It made it this horrible, like orange, brassy, copper ginger color. Um, and it did not look good. And a lot of people let me know that, <laughs> that it didn't look good and that they didn't like it. Um, and that it didn't turn out how it was supposed to, which I knew that. But anyways, so, and then after that, I tried doing some dry shampoo, or not dry shampoo, I'm sorry, purple shampoo, and that helped a little bit, but not much. And then yesterday, I tried to bleach it and then tone it, and it wasn't enough. Oh, cute. My cat princess is here, you guys. If you've been on my channel, you've seen her before. But, um, anyways, so, and I tried to do that, and, um, as you can see, whomp, whomp, it didn't, um, the rest of the hair, like, is a nice color, but the, the roots are still bad. So, I'm going to be trying, again, to fix my hair, um, I'm going to be dyeing it, um, because I was going to do bleach, but this is basically the same thing as bleach, like, box color usually has like 30 volume developer in it so um this is the Revlon Ultra Light Ash Blonde 05 and I'm hoping that this will work good it should because if you look at the picture on here before it's kind of like this so I'm thinking it should work good um so I'm gonna pause this video and get my gloves on and get this all ready and then I'm gonna come back also I just want to say Yes, I am pregnant. I'm doing my hair. Um, check with your doctor if you're pregnant, if you're concerned. Um, because every doctor is different. I know usually you're not supposed to, um, bleach or dye or do anything to your hair in the first trimester, which obviously I'm not in the first trimester. I'm almost in the third. However, I did bleach my hair when I was in the first trimester, but I didn't know that I was pregnant. So just check with your doctor. Be cautious. Do what, you know, you feel like you need to do whatever um so i'm gonna focus mainly on the roots and then it's like i do have i don't know i have darker down here and i don't know if i'm gonna put it on it or not because i don't know if i really care probably not and you're supposed to like section your hair and whatever um So, yeah, it's because it's, there's a dark patch right there. I think it would be good if I sectioned my hair. <laughs> I know all of you watching this are probably shaking your heads, but I'm not even going to say that I'm, like, not professional because it's obvious. And people, like, are always just like, I just need to clear if I'm not professional. It's like, who cares? Whatever. It's YouTube. You know what I mean? Okay. Gonna mix. I'm going to mix this more and come back. Okay, and I have this brush that I'm also going to use. Oh. I'm going to start on this dark part because it, you know, needs some help. I ran out of bleach. That's what it was. And I think I added too much developer to my bleach. So it was like really watery or whatever. So a lot of different things let's see if this works I mean I'm thinking it will if, if I you know keep it on long enough and the hair right here was already really dark that's why it looks so dark like that Oh, 
Also, it's good to do this in a well-ventilated area. <laughs> Gonna turn on my fan. I'm gonna like keep applying this when I come back. So like, I just barely applied it, but like nothing's happening. I'm so worried, you guys. I'm just so over it. Like, if I had just done my hair right the first time, I wouldn't be doing this crap. Like if I had just, when I had my shadow root, just went to Sally's or whatever, you know, and bought like two, three packs of bleach and enough freaking developer and stuff. My scalp's on fire because I freaking have done it so many times. And, well, because basically I'm trying to do this and then I'm going to tone it, you know. I'm trying to avoid the rest of my hair so I don't completely fry it off but um and I just got a uh, freaking dye stuff all over <sighs> and there was a lot of dark spots that I missed honestly after I do this and after I tone it if it doesn't look good like I'm just done <laughs> Like, oh, I'm just, like, serious, like, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just exhausted. Being pregnant, really, like, and I'm still working right now, it's, it's exhausting. It's tiring, you guys. Look, I barely cut this hole big enough. So I hate, what I hate about Revlon is the bottles, they're terrible. Like with L'Oreal, they're more expensive, but the dye bottles have a screw off cap. So you just screw it off. These ones you have to like snip with scissors and crap. And I didn't snip the hole big enough. So it's barely squirting out product. So I'm having to like squeeze it. 
don't know if that's freaking doing anything. Oh my gosh, I'm just so over it. Ugh. Oh my gosh, you guys. But it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Definitely gonna need a hair mask and hair oiling after this, which I've been doing. My hair is the longest it's been in a while. And I know there's some of you that are watching being like, not anymore, your hair's gonna fry off because you keep bleaching it and messing with it. You know what? Whatever. If I really, really wanted my hair to completely grow out, I would dye it back brown and leave it alone, but obviously that's not what I'm doing. Because I like being blonde, okay? You guys know, I go between brown, blonde, and red. That's what I do. But I always go back to blonde. That's what I do. So what I do, it's my thing. And that, that hair, oh, I just like bumped that, um, that's like hanging on by a thread, hanging on by a hair. Okay, I'm going to finish up and then I'm going to let it process. I realize I never showed the back of my hair because I'm scared. Um, it's bad, isn't it? I have a feeling it's really bad. So I just looked at the back of my hair. And I didn't realize it was that bad, so... I put as much dye as I could on it like I ran out of hair dye so um no need to comment down below I freaking know thank you I'm not in the mood and I know you're probably thinking then why are you posting on the internet if you don't want people I mean you can say whatever you want whatever but I'm just saying it's obvious isn't it that I ran out of hair dye and that there's not enough and that my hair is like seven different colors. Okay, now I'm really gonna let it process and then show you what it looks like and then I'm gonna tone it. Also, my head is on fire. Um, <laughs> I've done a lot to it this week, so I feel bad for my head, but not bad enough to stop or not do anything, so. Also, if you're worried about the back of my head, I'm going to have my husband help me fix it later, like at a different time, because I'm not that worried about it. If I was, I would do it myself to fix it right now, but I'm not. Whatever. I don't see the back of my head, so. So, I don't think it literally did anything at all. Like, my head is on fire. I'm supposed to keep it on for 10 more minutes, but I don't know if I can keep it on for 10 more minutes because it hurts. And I was going to tone it. Oh. Oh my goodness my cat is so cute you guys um so cute anyways um i was gonna tone it but i don't think my scalp can handle that so i'm just gonna do purple shampoo and i'm kind of upset because i accidentally overlapped right here so this part is bright white and the rest of it is not <sighs> so i basically give up um didn't turn out um at all and it looks horrendous it looks horrible it's ugly it's disgusting um yeah i just oh my scalp hurts so much um yeah it's really painful um, i'm gonna try to put the purple shampoo and see if it does anything um but I'm pretty much just have given up I did too much to my hair and I should have known better 
but you know if you're new to the channel this is what i do so after this purple shampoo like if it even does anything like i um I would cry at this point, and you think that I would, especially since, since I'm like pregnant, but I don't even feel like I have the energy to cry. <sighs> so. That's where, I, where I'm at right now. So, I'm gonna keep on this purple shampoo for kind of a long time just because it's not as damaging as if I had actual toner with developer, you know what I mean? I know it's still damaging and drying, but so, and I'm just using the shimmer lights because that's what I have. So yeah. We'll see if it does anything. So I'm going to leave on this purple shampoo, honestly, probably for like 20, 30 minutes just because it actually isn't burning my scalp, which is nice. So, yeah. so it didn't work. Um, I'm upset about it, but I'm not surprised. It didn't do anything. This part just looks even more platinum. So my hair is like seven different colors. Um... Yeah, this is just how my hair is going to be for a while because I need to give it a break and maybe it doesn't look as bad as I think that it does, but yeah, thanks for watching this video.